Welcome to another episode of Jamie's Book Club. Now you'll remember in the last video that I did for this playlist, I talked about a problem I was having with bookmarks, where the books would be in the shelf, um, I would have uh, my paper bookmarks in there, and my son has started going in there and taking all the books out. And of course the uh, the bookmarks have fallen out of them, so I've lost my place on all these books that I was reading. So, um, Yvonne, who is a regular viewer to my videos, thank you Yvonne, um, said, why don't you try uh, one of those paperclip bookmarks? Um, I will admit, I did not know what she was talking about. She mentioned having them 3D printed if you have a 3D printer. Unfortunately, I don't. I've never dabbled in such things, but I do know that they exist. Um, so I went on to eBay. I bought a paperclip bookmark, which is great. I thought this is a great idea because the idea is obviously you can then slot it into your page and if a book gets thrown about then the bookmark is still in there, it doesn't fall out. Now I had further communication from Yvonne who said that her husband Paul could uh, 3D print some paperclip bookmarks very similar to this. So a few days later I received a few paperclip bookmarks as you can see there, let's take that out. Now this to me is amazing. Um, I, as I say, I have never seen anything sort of 3D printed. I've never dabbled in it myself, but I thought this was very clever. Um, we're sort of shiny on one side um, and rough on the other. Whereas if you compare it to this one, it is shiny on both sides, it's smooth on both sides, um, but they both do the same job. And um, Yvonne kindly sent me a few of these. I've got three or four of them. I couldn't find the other one. I assume it's in a book. That's like some kind of claw, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, I think these are great. Um, I look forward to using them. Uh, at the moment, I'm just about to start just for the record, the autobiography of Status Quo by Francis Rossi and Rick Parfit. Now this is the first autobiography that they released in the early 90s. Um, I do a podcast called The Quocast, links below, and I've read later autobiographies and I don't know, I was just interested to see whether the stories in here have a slightly different kind of tint on them. Um, maybe a different way of telling them, perhaps little details that weren't gone into later. To make an observation about the cover, um, at this point, if you looked at this cover, you would assume that status quo were literally just two guys, um, whereas they're a rock band, obviously. Um, there's more than two guys, but by this point, they were the two original members of status quo. I mean, obviously, uh, what with these two having such a long career, there was time to have so many different autobiographies. Um, I think that does happen a lot more now than it used to. Now, I've shown you this simply because, look, we'll find a random page in the book. So there's a random page in this book, and then what we do is we just slot that in. That's probably the wrong way round. But yeah, that's slotted in like that. My page has been kept. Wonderful. Thank you so much to Yvonne and her husband Paul for sending these. These shall be of great use and when I'm not using them I can play with them like that. Um, that's really cool. Um, yeah. Without them, this video would not have been possible. So the question that I want to ask you is, what do you use as a bookmark? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again for another Jamie's Book Club.